we went through when we read this text together. Source 2, the effects of jumping. We annotated the text, meaning we underlined important ideas. We even coded them using a plus and minus sign that would then transfer over here on our matrix to the positives or the plus sign support staying open and then the minus or the negatives would support closing down. Now I know that when you were reading this article independently before you watched this video, you probably read and you were adding to your matrix as you went along. Well, I wanted you to see the text right next to the matrix. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to take now what we've learned in source two and add it to our matrix right here under source two. We've already gone through and completed source one together. Now, if you have not done so already, down in the corner of your screen, you can click to make the screen and this video larger so you're not having to like squint your eyes to read these teeny tiny little words on the page. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do that now. And we're gonna start right back up here with paragraph eight. So when we read through this paragraph, we learned that we're seeing that keyword fun and exercise, which are appearing again. We also saw that they're dangerous. So we can note here that trampolines can be fun. That was mentioned in paragraph eight. We also learned that these are a great source of exercise mentioned in as well, paragraph eight. Now, we've also learned down here that keyword dangerous. Yeah, we've seen that before dangerous from paragraph eight. Now we're gonna continue right here into paragraph nine. So we know that this entire box right here of text supports mostly the positives, right? And that even reinforced that idea here with this heading, a healthy, happy habit. So in paragraph nine, some of the ideas that we discussed were that it takes very little skill to work out so let's add that to our matrix. Little skill to work out. And that was from paragraph nine. We then went on to read all this information right here about your muscles, how they flex and they relax, and then that constant squeeze of your muscle helps to tone your muscles. So let's add that. That's obviously supporting the trampoline park should stay open. Tone your muscles. Paragraph nine. Then we continue down here into paragraph 10, still probably going to be working in this box right here because these were all pretty um, positive ideas. So we learned that you've got this improved posture and balance and coordination. So let's go down, another bullet point, improves, posture, balance, and coordination. And that was in paragraph 10. Now we continue down and we learned that it takes a lot of air, right? A lot of breath. So you develop healthier lungs and now you can take in more oxygen. Well, that's definitely a benefit, healthier lungs. I'm almost imagining later on in my essay using that to argue that of course trampoline parks should stay open. Doesn't everybody want a healthier pair of lungs? Let's look now at paragraph 11. Some of these ideas that we underlined here. That it can be fun so we read that again up here in paragraph eight as well as paragraph 11. We also learned that they help you to feel better. You have more confidence and you're in a better mood. So I might say something like they help improve your mood from paragraph 11. The last thing that we learned was right here, just that fun fact, 
the Navy SEALs and astronauts train for missions on trampolines. We could probably add that in there as a fun fact. Navy astronauts use, and that was in the caption. I'll put that in parentheses so I remember. And now we're down here. Let me scoop my text up so you can see it okay. What goes up must come down. And we learned that just glancing at this, I see a lot of negatives. So I'm going to now focus down here on the close down section. I already wrote that they're dangerous. That was all the way up here mentioned in paragraph 8 before we got started in this big healthy habit box. But now we're down here in paragraph 12. So we know that they are not always safe and injuries occur. That was mentioned, paragraph 12. We also read that smaller children can get hurt. They're near bigger children and that can be dangerous. So small kids can get hurt. That was in paragraph 12 as well. Continuing right along. Then we made our way down here to paragraph 13. And it talked all about kind of landing the wrong way, right? You're not landing very good. I'm glad that I wrote that. Now I remember what I was talking about. You can land on the edge. You can just fall on the ground. You can hurt your body parts. So let's add to our matrix. Landing on the edge or spring of a trampoline. And that was paragraph 13. It also mentioned falling off the trampoline. Maybe you didn't even land somewhere. You just went straight to the ground. Let's see what else we can add. We went down here to paragraph 14 and we learned that there are some common injuries that include sprains, broken bones, bumps, dislocated joints. So we had the common injuries that were listed and identified there in paragraph 14. The last thing that we know is right here, this fun facts. There's a, a good amount of information included here. We've got no mandatory rules. We also know that there are 22 deaths related to trampolines and we have one million ER visits. And these were all from the fun facts. Alright boys and girls, so that wraps up source two. Again, if you do not have all of these ideas listed on your matrix, maybe you want to take a moment, you can pause the video here and then you can add these onto your matrix tomorrow. Thursday we'll go through and read, annotate, and complete Source 3.